Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. I am so excited to bring you another fall tutorial. I told you last time I would have a few videos laid out for this fall season. And guess what? It's officially fall. We were kind of pushing it a little bit, but I'm so excited that it is fall. It's official and we can push on without any judgment from anybody who is not that crazy about fall as we are. This time we're going to do a backdrop with a combination of drapes and balloons and florals as well. I'm putting together with a lot of help from Oliver and Olivia this seven foot circular metal backdrop that you've seen me use in the past. If you want the link, I'll have it linked down below. If you want to purchase your own, there are several varieties. There are several varieties of these, but this one I find okay. I just had, need more support whenever I'm using it for an event, and it comes with water bags that you can put between those legs to keep everything in place. This is the brand that I bought this kit from on Amazon. I'll have that linked as well that's how it comes i'm opening it right there and sorting out all these balloons i decide to separate all the five inches now these balloons come in a 5 10 and 18 inch when i was inflating them i was thinking that they were maybe a 10 and a 9 for the main balloons of course i knew about the five and there are only three shades of the 18 inches in each color the color for these balloons are orange, apricot, and off-white. Those are the three colors we're working with. There's such a variety of fall colors that you can put together to create a design. I decided this time around to go with a kit just so it gives you more options if you're looking for something the day of an event to just quickly put together. I can't vouch for how long they would last, with this install, I only had one five inch pop, which was my fault to, that I over inflated. And I had another 10 inch pop while I was putting it together. You'll see that somewhere down the line. I was just rearranging it on the hoop and it popped. But other than that, the balloons were easy to work with. It actually worked pretty well. And I liked how the design turned out. You tell me what you think down below i'm inflating with the same method i always do so inflate to where i see the next popping up stop push down so i get more of an a rounded look on the balloons instead of that egg shape or oval shape so that's what i'm doing right there you've seen me do this over and over same method i also decided not to cluster my colors i just mix everything together because i just want that vibrancy of the fall design so the picture that comes on the amazon page for this design has them clustered but i wanted to mix everything together so you see me just picking two of different colors and just mixing all those together so that we can have our beautiful design at the very end now you will notice that last week we posted a video or i posted a video about how i make two fall wreaths i figured that would be the perfect video to put out right before fall season starts if any of you were interested in making your own wreath for the fall i did a traditional wreath and one that was more of a transitional wreath and it was a giveaway for the two wreaths so if you did not watch that video i'll have it linked down below sadly the take for the winners are already in because i promised last week that i would announce the winners this week so it made my job so easy because only two people commented on the video because the requirement to win was that you subscribe and you comment on the video so the two winners are Lexi Seymour and Comfort Taiwo. So I'll make sure I send those wreaths out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. To everyone who watched the video but didn't comment, I appreciate you as well. That really helps out my channel. 
That being said, if you are a new person tuning into this channel, I appreciate you and I welcome you and I hope you would consider subscribing. We post videos at least once a week and they're mainly decor items for events, for home and the sort. And we post videos about balloon arrangements, floral arrangements, home organization and decor as well. So please consider subscribing, like the video, share as well. And I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. I'm planning next, let's see, next time to do a video on more of a harvest theme for the fall. So don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss that video. I put together the five inch balloons just how I did with the other 10 inch balloons. So I mixed all the colors together. I'm not clustering any colors. I do love the cluster look, but I also think this design gives you a pop of all colors where you're not getting clusters, especially since I'm using that sequin fabric at the back. Right now I'm assembling my garland together, putting all my clusters in so that I can just connect it to the hoop. Because my backdrop or metal arch is seven foot, I need some help to get up there and I'm using my ladder. I don't have the clips that you use to hold the fabric in place. So I decide to use fishing line. I wrap that around all on one end and I gather my fabric and pull the string to where I want the fabric to end. Then I cut the string and wrap it around right at the end there and make a knot. So what is holding all this in place is the fishing line right in the middle. And that worked really well for me. I am going to show you how I attached, attach my other fabric onto this champagne. This is a premium champagne sequin fabric that I usually use. It's very heavy, but I'm only using one panel, which is not bad. I also have this rust runner that I'm going to use just to break up that bright glittery champagne. I'm using some clips here to hold that fabric onto the other. These are safety pins just to hold that in two spots onto this, the sequin fabric. Now I'm going to gather everything to the side and make sure everything is nice and aligned and smooth. And you can see all my pleats as I gather everything together. The secret here is working your fingers to make sure it all stays in place. Now I couldn't gather both fabrics at the same time because of how light that rust fabric is. So I gathered the heavier fabric in the back and then made sure I aligned that rust fabric in the middle so that I have some of the sequin fabric showing above and below the rust fabric and just making arrangements here and at the bottom i just roll the fabric up so that it forms it's all tucked in and i don't have loose fabric just laying around and there's a flow to the fabric as well i didn't show later on in the video i just decide there to tie right where i tied the fabric together with the 260Q balloon, I end up using my, just a regular napkin to hold so that I cover up my 260Q balloons. Here I am just putting all the balloons in place and tucking everything in, rearranging the colors so they're not all clustered in the same place, especially the orange balloons. So that's what I'm doing right there. And I'll let you continue watching. You'll see me put all the flowers together and comment down below what your color scheme is at your house for the fall, what you do as far as your fall decor. I would love to hear some of your thoughts.